Scotch fans, it is Scotch for Dummies again. We are on a great Thursday night, and we are trying a, a Spayburn tenure this tonight. Spayburn. It is a Highland Scotch, uh, roughly third, twenty-five to thirty dollars a bottle. And yeah, they, um, they didn't pay extra for the color. No, goodness. <laughs> no it is aged in American Green. American oak, uh, ex bourbon, Fish and. and uh, X sherry casks. So it's kind of a mixture of the two mm, different casks. That's a trout. Yeah, there's a trout on the top, too. There's a trout on the bottom. What that means. So. Yeah, excited. I am. <laughs> it's Scotch. <laughs> <It's laughs> <cash laughs> All right. So let's go ahead right. and start trying this thing. Are you feeling heavy handed tonight? Oh my gosh. Uh, so come on. Uh, so, oh, come on. You uh, can you hit it. Usually uh, when so Andrew pours, we get drunk. We, uh, he pours expensive stuff, too. He, yeah, he gives oh, us yeah, the light pour on the, uh, <laughs> on the cheap stuff. So, uh, uh, uh. Spayburn has several different casks, or Different ages. <laughs> you're a little bit sloppy too. I can't talk in. Uh, I was gonna pour, but you're like, I'm so excited to put a pour. Because <laughs> 25 years, I got some other uh, unique How does caskings. That look at that. So we'll we'll see what they're. What 25, they're 15, and um, 18 maybe. I can't remember. This thing, there's no legs at all. Nothing. <laughs> so well, the, yeah, so a little bit. Bit. So Would you say it was 30? It's about 25 to 30 dollars a bottle, depending on where you go right now. I want to go where it's 25. Woo! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 a lot of alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'm let this sit for a second. Let's air it out. 43 proof. Is that what it is? 43 ABV? So yeah, I'm sorry. 80, 86, 86 proof. <laughs> sorry. Mm. Smells not bad. I, I get a I lot mean, of alcohol and then there's some other stuff behind yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, to get, it's hard to get behind that alcohol and find out what that is. I smell there's something back there, but... Drop on that, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he goes straight to the water, kid. Well, I want to yeah. smell it. Yeah, I know. I don't. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I got some smell. This is definitely. You know what? Sweet what do you got? To us what do you got? What do you got? It doesn't have any alcohol burn for the. For taste? <laughs> for the nose having a little bit of heat on there. Are we drinking the same stuff? I was expecting it to this almonds be a little harsher, but it's, it's mm. not bad. Mm. You know, that's I don't know. That's got a better after. Uh, I get a little citrus stuff. in there. No, there's yeah. a little bit. Ah. Some nose, yeah. I do get a little. Uh, wow, it's surprisingly smooth. It, it um, actually. I was thought that was going to be pretty, uh, pretty hot. But it's, it's not. It's um, actually. Not, it's not bad. I get water. a little more on the nose. The water's kind of calm. The you almost have to water this one down a little bit. It's a drop. And it's a light. But it's, it's it's a real light scotch, so I think the water's going to bring out... I think it's... It, uh, it lets the nose come through, but I don't think it's going to do anything for the flavor. I think it's going to kill the no, flavor. Drop, so there's not much flavor to begin with, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. There's not a whole lot going on. No. No. It's a very entry-level scotch. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, there's better entry level scotches. You're not getting. I mean, that's the only reason why we're doing this, right? It's not harsh or bitter or anything. You know what I mean? It's no, but it doesn't have anything. But it doesn't have anything to write home about either. It makes dollars. me want it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend twenty five dollars and spend another seven and get Johnny Black and. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get carried away. All right. So let's start. <laughs> um, have at it, Drew. Well, talk to me, Goose. One more sip here. <laughs> Mm. Mm. God, I hate to say it, but it smells like dirty sink to me. Dirty sink. What you That's a new sink? one. Yeah. I... <laughs> so this is um. Trino. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Trino. Burnt tires. Making it up as we go, folks. Um, so much sponsorship from paper. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Stamper. Um, it's it's got some kick to it. It's it's uh I put a water on right away, so I I can't really taste it from the meatness. Factor, I guess, but um, a pure factor, I should say. Uh, it's it's hot. Um, it doesn't really have a whole lot to it to me. Um, little, mostly honey, a, a little bit of fruit. I tasted some almonds a minute ago, but that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go. Um, I, it's not bad. I'll, I'll go one one and a half. I get uh, I get a little light hint of the traditional like oak stuff. A little bit of vanilla. Um, I got a little bit of like pear, apple, uh, but know. not very much. I mean, it's the, the flavor is very, very subtle. Um, on the other hand, it's not overly harsh or bitter. Um, there's not a whole lot of flavors that 
stand out as offensive because there's not a whole lot of, it's just a very mellow yeah. glass. Um, Pretty smooth. I, I'll give it a one and a half. I mean, I'm not going to run out and buy a, another bottle, but I mean, there's nothing. It's not the worst you've had. It. No. And I'm sure that it'll get drank sitting on the bar back here. So, <laughs> all right, one and a half. You, well, yeah, we'll drink it. Um, I agree to some of that, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to take it down. Actually, they all that. get drank. The, the nose was a lot more alcohol to me than I really cared for. Put a little drop on it. That helped the nose out a little bit. Um, didn't do much for the flavor. I'm not really getting anything out of it. Other than honestly, I got a really lasting bitterness in the side of my tongue. Yeah on the sides of my tongue and believe it or not I get I still have a lot of alcohol coming through my sinuses when I drink. It's smooth, it doesn't burn going down, but for you know seconds afterwards it's just an alcohol burn through my sinuses. Um, I don't get anything <laughs> out of it. I, I really I don't I, it's not like I dislike it or I don't, I don't use you know strong word like hate it or anything, but I don't get any redeeming quality at all out of it. I gotta give up <laughs> one. Um, and, you know, we're going to drink it. I said that, absolutely. It's on the bar, and I'm glad we've got it out here. I'm glad we tried it. Um, but, uh, it's I interesting you said that, but the tongue, because mine's all kind of like numbish or something. The sides of it's just bitter. And it's gone now, finally, after I've been talking for a while. But it's like for, drinking... Um, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a numbing quality. Yeah. So, so I'm going to probably agree with Mark on this one. Again, I like the smoke. I like the cherries. I like the robust flavors of my scotch, and this doesn't have that. <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, so Done. you know, I thought yeah, you were say a, you had that. I'm like, I didn't taste that. I didn't know. <laughs> and, and so, for me, I'm gonna go for one on this as well. Um, it is, it is a good, um, good value, but it's not in my wheelhouse. It's not something I would, I would buy again, probably. But if you like really light scotches, this might be something. You know, to try. Th this reminds me of something that would probably fly over well in Korea after tasting that Korean. I, I, I would like that scotch that. blue. Yeah, um, it would go pretty well. It, it reminds me of that kind of scotch. Really uh, light. Yeah, very light. All right. All right. So, there you go. so, so we're at uh, one and a quarter on the one and a quarter on Spayburn 10. There you go. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm.